Hey, notice anything different about me? Anything? You guys like my makeup? Just gonna show y'all what um how I'm rocking right now. Look at my lips. Look at my makeup. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm giving y'all the full scoop. Like this is the real tea right now, guys. Like this is what I really look like. It is painful for me to record this video only because I look like Crust is my first, middle, and last name. To be honest, um, I am ashamed of myself that I even wore makeup long enough for it to look like this. Um, but yeah, basically if you can't tell by the clear appearance here, this is me getting ready for bed. I'm in my little bedtime t-shirt. Got my weave up. I'm about to take the crusty, cakey, nasty looking makeup that I put on at like 6 this morning. So this makeup's over 12 hours old. Okay, that's disgusting. And like I said, I'm ashamed of myself. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and take my makeup off. I'm going to de-transform right here on camera for you guys. I am super excited. My sister has been begging me to do this video. Um, and I, since she's my manager, I decided to give it a try. I feel like it would be fun to just show you guys what I've been doing. I'm um, taking my makeup off. I've done two videos showing you guys how I get ready in the morning. And I've never shown you guys how I just take off all of this. How I detransform. How I turn back from Barbie to zombie to Charlotte. So I'm going to show you guys how I actually do that. And I am super excited to do so. <laughs> Let's get into it. Despite my crusty appearance right now. If you guys want more of my brown skin goodness. You will see my brown skin goodness in a moment. You need to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You will not regret it as well. Go ahead and follow me on all my social media. My Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all of that will be down here for you. XO underscore CNT. That is a good look. You need to make that move. All right. Comment down below what you think and thumbs up this video if you like these transformation videos. Also, thumbs up for the crust. This is as real as it gets. This is better than no makeup. This is better than no filter. This is better than me at my best. This is me at my fug when I'm fuggly, guys, and I'm sharing it with you. So this is like kind of fun for me, and it's surprising how excited and confident I am. I thought it'd be so entertaining to show you guys my crusty face, and I'm having the best time looking crusty for y'all. So uh, let's go ahead and take this off. What I'm doing to keep myself entertained while I take my makeup off and get ready for bed, I am just watching YouTube videos. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm really obsessed with these boyfriend slash husband buys my makeup tags. I think they're super funny and it is crazy what these men go in here and get. I'm watching Laura Lee's. Her husband spent $700. Over $700 in Sephora. <laughs> you can cut it. I would never. I would but I'm poor. Alright so let's go ahead and get into it. Let go. Alright, so the first thing that I do when I am removing my makeup is I'm going to use some coconut oil and NYX Micellar Stripped Off Water with my Devon, or Devon, I don't even really even know how that's pronounced, but it's the Demi Lovato Microfiber Towel. And honestly, this is a really good um, idea for y'all if you are trying to, you know, get that makeup off that you've had on for a long time. I recommend using some type of microfiber towel. Mine is a mitt, so... But there is towel versions of it and it just helps get your makeup off a lot quicker. For those of you that have oily skin, I wouldn't recommend using coconut oil to take your makeup off however. Um, the micellar water works just fine. It's just for my dry skin. The little extra boost that I get from coconut oil kind of helps with hydration. Although mineral oils aren't very good for your face. So you just you gotta use it sparingly. And I make sure to take do it first so I can take it off immediately. And in this video I use a towel to take it off. I recommend getting cotton pads. That's actually what I use. I just didn't have any for this particular video. But you see how quickly coconut oil removes makeup. If you don't know that trick. I would recommend um, trying it out. Actually works great for me. Makes my skin really nice and soft at night and just who doesn't want to be swarfed? Do you know what I'm saying? I then take this H2O Beauty. It is like a hydrating, moisturizing. I'll put the name of it down below. But it is a really good face cleanser and I use this every single night after I take off my makeup 
and I use that same mitt after I've thoroughly rinsed it off and I just apply that to my face and I wet the mitt and then just wipe my face because the mitt is a super good exfoliator for your skin and since I have dry skin getting off those dead layers is super important to me. I am then going to take the Pond's Dark Spot Correcting Cream because I have crazy dark spots guys. I've had dark spots for years so I have to do different things to get them to erase. I then take the Devon Moisturizer. This is one of the creamiest moisturizers I have ever used. Like I said a million times, I have dry skin so I like a nice thick moisturizer. I do about two layers of that and then I take Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray and I just spritz my face. I, I don't know why this is even like important. I just like doing it at night. I feel like it is so hydrating. I, I don't know. Like I love it. It just feels really great. It's nice and refreshing. Then I take my Vaseline Lip Therapy. I always use the red lips. I just like red chapstick. It's a little fun fact. I don't know if it does anything differently than the regular Vaseline lip therapy, but I, I just, it's red so I like it. I actually use a lip scrub at night. I didn't have one in this video, but I recommend the MAC Lip Scrub Shoes. Wash my leaf because it looks like greasy dog hair. Um, okay. It looks worse because I like just took it out of the way it's older, but makes the form more dramatic transformation. But yeah, it just needs life. Um, so I'm about to take a shower now that my makeup is off. And um, then I'm going to come back and lay and slay these edges. But uh, I'm going to show y'all what I did to my hair to wash my weave. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So what I do to wash my hair is before I get in the shower, I actually coat my hair with my shampoo. And just to save myself time at nighttime when I have to wash my hair, because that's usually when I do it, I use the Garnier Fructis Grow Strong 2 and one is a shampoo and a conditioner. So I literally coat my hair with this product and then I wash it out in the shower. So after my hair is fresh and washed, I go ahead and blow dry it out, make sure I get my roots because that's really important when you are wearing, I have a sewing so I make sure I get my roots nice and dry. So I take a Shea Moisture like Hydrothermal Milk and I actually use that as a heat protectant for my hair and then I like I said blow dry it out. Once my hair is nice and blow dried, I go ahead and brush it out and then I separate or pull it back, not separate it, so I can lay and flay my edges. So I lay my edges right now with the Murray's Edge Wax and I actually use this really cute edge comb brush dual sided thing that I got at Target. I'll put the name of it down below. I recommend this for anybody. It is so cute. It costs about $3 for the mats. Really, really helpful for laying and slaying my edges, guys. But I said I'll link it down below for you guys. You guys can use it. I recommend it immensely.
I think this goes as a no-brainer, but of course I then go ahead and put a scarf on my edges to lay them flat overnight. And then I put my bonnet on and then we are finished hunting. Oh, make sure you use a satin scarf. It's really good um, whether you have weave, relaxed hair, natural hair. Put that on because it stops your hair from being dried out at night. Kind of like using a silk pillowcase. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my de-transformation. Like I said, I went from Barbie to zombie to regular old Charlotte. I'm about to hit the sheets. I have work in the morning. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave y'all with these lovely goodbyes. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. If you want more goodies, like I said, definitely go ahead. Hit that subscribe button. Join the gang. gang. You will not be disappointed. I wish that fun things going on on my channel. I'm always um, serving y'all Bob. By realness, what? I am always serving bonnet realness on this channel. So if you want to be part of the gang gang and be in my bonnet realness gang, go ahead. Hit that subscribe button. You will not be disappointed at all. It is always lit on my channel as well. Go ahead. If you want more of this brown skin goodiness, go ahead. Follow me on all my social media. Like I said in the intro, XO underscore CNT. It is linked down there for you. Good night, y'all. I will see you in the next video.